Hello everyone, this is Jebro, and this is another reward track chest opening for you today. And uh, today I'll be opening the Crichton region track chests, which I've just um, finished recently. Uh, I have been doing it quicker um, than obviously the videos have been released, because... I've just got so many videos to release, so I just wanted to do this very quickly. This is on the 3rd of July. Um, people have been saying they'd rather just see me open the chest rather than the explanation, because by now you should know what these videos are about. Otherwise, I will write a quick description. Basically, I'm using you can use Magic Find to open chests in SPVP. You can currently see I have 396, and this is with various buffs, including, of course, uh, banners, food... Uh, Magic Find Boosters, uh, Birthday Boosters, um, also you can see there the World v World Extra bonus as well um, as the Laurel uh, bonus as well which is actually behind my camera, you can't see it because I've got so many. Um, so basically guys, I'm just going to open these chests, this is going to be a very quick one. Um, just so you can see exactly what I'm going to get. So you can see all the chests here in a row. You can see my consumables I have there. And I've got some uh, kits as well. And also got two standard. You get about two levels. Uh, if you're at level 80, you, I get two levels um, uh, when I go for a reward track. So I always stick those uh, rank up chests in there as well. So we're going to start with the uh, brown boxes. Now brown boxes are probably the ones where I get the best stuff actually. Or where I have got um, uh, ascended items from. So I'm going to start opening. Opening those, probably, pardon me, as I do a little burpee. Um, Alright, okay, so we're going to start with these boxes. Rare there. I always get nervous from this, because I love opening these boxes so much. And you guys have told me how much you like watching these videos, because it's quite cool. Um, and I've got ascended stuff. But it's not always so lucky. I'm getting some nice materials. Which you can also sell, of course. Um, you can tell my bag's going to fill up. I've got lots of rares so far. No ascended items, unless I've missed anything. Da, da, da. Powerful blood there. That's nice. Two, actually. Quite a reward. Should actually just start, um, start with the other boxes, because I normally get the best stuff from these. Um, oh, I've got an Ascended Ring. Sweet. Oh, that's actually a not bad one as well. Relena's Band, Precision, Toughness, Vitality, and Condition Damage. Oh, that's actually quite good for my NG, so that's actually going to be really good. So, that's cool. That saved me some cash as well already. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, last brown boxes. It's got some heavy supply bags. Another rare. Okay, so not too bad from that. I did get an ascended ring, so that's always good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit collectibles quickly so I can just compact this up. As you can see, there is a lot of greens here, so it's really up to you whether or not you just salvage them or you sell them. Sometimes if I need some cash, I do have 600 gold there, um, which I'm kind of saving a bit for the... Um, uh, precursor and whatnot. If I ever want to go for a legendary, which I kind of want it... Um, I'm still not sure which one to go for because I try I use all weapons kind of equal at the moment. So I'm going to go start on the so the crafting materials. You know, is crafting mats, and that's not too bad. I've got powerful blood there, rock alchem ore, ancient bones. Whoa, molten lodestone and crystal lodestone there. That's pretty good. I don't even know. I'm just going to check how much that's worth at the moment, so you can gauge uh, how much these are, this is really worth. I don't remember. And of course, the training post is being lame. All right, so basically, that's good. Um, most of those stones as well, of course, is good. Last one. Uh, so powerful venom sack. So you can see there, from just from those crafting boxes, made some nice cashito there, which is pretty good. So let's deposit those, and then we'll compact that again. Um, right, so basically, right, if anyone is wondering why are you get my magic find up, each one of these boxes, like the brown boxes, represents a mob or two mobs um, in PvE, like in a dungeon, and the possible drops you'd get. Now, I think I get better stuff from getting the chests. I mean, I don't get that much stuff from a dungeon, you know, but obviously I spend more than 15 minutes doing, say, uh, a region track than I do flipping uh, cough path one or something. So we're going to go over to the veteran Etin. Uh, oh, okay. I got obsidian shards with that one. I didn't realize I did. Oh, they must have changed this. Oh, they've they've changed this. Obsidian shards and champion bag. I'm, so, I'm sure I didn't get obsidian shards before. Wow. Okay. This is a find. 
That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that before. And this is a region track, not a uh, dungeon track. So if you can get obsidian shards per box, and I missed that completely, or they've changed that. Um, I need to double check, really. Uh, Champion Centaur. And you get a patchwork knapsack. Okay, cool. So this champion container, Dragonite Ore and Imperial Fragments. And some nice boxes as well on my bags are getting full here. Holy crap. <laughs> champion Bandit Leader Box. Crichton Weapon Skin Box. Okay, we need to get rid of some of this stuff, man. Really bad. Not much killing. <laughs> Got so much stuff. This is ridiculous. Okay. Hoping that that doesn't take. Oh, wow. Pile of Crystalline Dust. Da, 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 da. I need some more. But someone's going to say I need bigger bags here, aren't they? You would be correct, sir. You would be correct. I'm going to start salvaging. Uh, oh, good lord. I'm going to start salvaging everything, basically. All the stuff like blues, greens, whites, whatever. Obviously, you could save them for things like the um, the daily, uh, which I've have done before. But I want to do this now because I want to show you what I get from those champ bags. And it feels like I've got so much more loot. It feels like they've been buffed. Maybe it's a ninja buff, and I didn't realize. Um, but I've got so much stuff here. I've never had to do so much salvaging like on the actual video itself, which seems a bit mental actually to me. Um, let's have a look. Get rid of that. It's quite a lot of rares there as well. Which means I can can't even empty it that much. Okay, so let's go with that. So we got considerable amount of space there. Um, right, so let me just grab these boxes and bags. Bound to miss something here. There's so many. Um, let's put that there as well, and the level up one there. You can see that I'm getting quite a lot of luck as well, which is really good. And these bags here. If I open these, you can see that I get another ten. Uh, from two levels and also tomes of knowledge. Now you do get more tomes of knowledge and transmutation stones. I haven't put them in here showing uh, the total of everything you get of course because uh, that would be a bit crazy and I'd have definitely not have enough bag space. Um, so I'm going to start with these heavy supply bags which is just going to be a bit of copper, some minor... Um, oh, that's nice, I've got uh, ancient bone. Okay, cool. So... Let's go over to, where shall I start, where shall I start? It looks like they've converted some of the bags into something else, like obsidian shards or something, because normally you get more bags than this, or either that or it's a mix. So this is a region track, not a dungeon track. Um, and that's, I go for those now because you can get more loot rather than getting the actual armor, which I don't need, you know, you can get exotics from flipping uh, anywhere now, we can buy them off the trading post for nothing and then use your skin so it's, I don't find it as profitable going for the dungeon tracks unless I need armour or I want a certain look um, so let's start with the patchwork knapsacks, gonna get loads of the uh, bloodstone dust of course, got a rare there that's actually quite good I've never, I don't think I've got a rare before out of one of these so chances are you can actually get a precursor and I would love that to happen live on stream that would be sick uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, we're going to go to embroidered coin purse. Nothing special in there. Oversized rucksack. Ooh! Got an exotic. There you go. Not too bad. It's not a look uh, that I'm missing. Whereas when I did the Orion track, uh, I actually got the hammer, the two handed hammer entropy. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's that. Um, yeah, just with, the, with the purple glow rather than the gold glow. Uh, duh, 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 let's open that one. Let's open these boxes here. Now this is a five. five silver. Ten silver. Embroidered. I'm looking on the right hand side, which is why I'm like, because I'll miss something otherwise. Uh, right, okay, so let's compact that. That's pretty much the whole shebang right there. I mean, um... Duh, 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 duh. Let's just put that there. Let's just have a look at the Crichton weapon uh, weapons there. So, as well, you do get two Mystic Clovers, eight Obsidian Shards, 50 Imperial Fragments, and 50 Dragonite Ore, which is also very good if you want to try and get some Ascended Shears. Um, of course, these skins aren't as amazing as, say, I don't know, I prefer the Orion ones. 
Um, and I, I've got loads of these saved up because I'm not actually sure which skins I want. Um, they're very plain and boring because they're, they're from that zone, you know, they're not amazing. Um, so I just need to, I'll go through and see which ones I haven't got. It's more of a collection thing than I'm actually going to use that skin. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it guys, really. I made, I don't know how much money I'm going to make off of all of this, to be honest. Um, as you can see there, I've probably made only about a gold, really, in terms of the actual, you know, cash that you drops from this. But as you can see, I'm going to get a lot of luck. I'll probably sell a lot of these greens, actually, because I don't really need to get my magic fire. I don't feel like I need to boost it anymore, you know, because I'm getting good stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll sell it. As you can see I've got a lot of rares here. Um... I've got another rare there, I've got another one there, there, I've got about five, six or so rares, an exotic and ascended ring, which has actually got some nice stats on it, so I did pretty well in this one, I think I did okay, um, so thank you very much guys, and this has been the Crichton Orion, no Crichton Orion, the Crichton region track, um, probably going to go back to the Orion one to farm, it seems to be a bit better loot wise, at the higher end, and also the skins and stuff which you can sell for higher, things like Entropy I sold for like 10 gold, um, but I'm going to go back to another region track, not sure which one, but stay tuned and uh, I will see you very soon, cheers, bye bye.